So here, I'm going to re I'm re recording this program or this uh, how to do this question um, fall 2021 because the old applet that I used to use is no longer working the same. So um, this is the one from the textbook. And you've got the answers in the back, so you can so you can look at that. And the difference between this and what's happening out at WebAssign is they don't give you the summary statistics like they do here. So what I'm going to do is show you. Pretend I don't know those summary statistics, and see how they give you the differences here. And that's what we got to find. They don't do that for you on the WebAssign version. So what I'm going to do is give me a minute here. I'm going to copy and paste these. Uh, into a into a spreadsheet so that you don't have to you have to watch that whole process. So I, I got these into a spreadsheet. So now what I can do is I can actually calculate the differences. Now I believe don't they say yes? They want us to subtract older brother score minus younger brother score. I mean, not that it's wrong to do it the other way. It's just it'll be it'll be the opposite sign, and we're trying to keep my open math or web assign happy, right? So they'll be a little picky. So let's come back to that spreadsheet and I'm just gonna do equals older minus the younger. And then Google Sheets is smart enough to know that I fill down. And notice those are the same numbers that they gave us on um, uh, in the textbook. Now, if we want to, I mean, I mean, if you want to, you can actually find the average right now. So, Let's see, find them, find the mean difference, and then we'll find the standard deviation of the differences. And you can do this with other, there's other software that'll do this if you're not a spreadsheet fan. So this is the mean difference. And this is the standard deviation of the differences. And then we know that N equals what? 10, are there 10 brothers? So what I can do then is I can go out to, I can go out to that Rossman Chance site. You know, knew I was going to go here. Right? I, there, yes, I know some of you are having trouble with it, but this just—I love what this site, this calculator does. So I've got one mean. When it's a pair of difference, you're down to one mean, the mean difference. So I had ten brothers, and uh, let's see here. Let me get this so I can see. Here we go. So the mean difference was two point five. Good that it was positive. That's indication that the older brothers, on average, do have a higher IQ than the younger brothers. Of course, my brothers would argue against that, but I'm the oldest. Um, so, and then we're going to test the difference that there's zero. And now I want to know that the difference is greater than zero. And I knew that because my Z score, I knew it was one tailed. They said that. And it's, it's a positive Z score, a positive mean, positive difference. I knew that. So here's the test statistic. Here's the p value. So at this at this level of significance, oh, what did they say in the book here? So, but the question was how how do you find the, the z score? Well, at the one percent level of significance, yes, older brothers, uh, younger brothers uh, are not. Uh, older brothers aren't any more intelligent than younger brothers. At the five percent level, they are. So what's what's different? Just the level of significance. So. You want, if, if this is why, I don't know, you probably have heard me say somewhere, or maybe you saw it written, if somebody's going to lose a lot of money or die because you make the wrong decision, go with a low level, a small level of significance. If it doesn't really matter, no drastic things, go with a 5% level of significance, okay? So that's, that's how you find the Z-score and the P-value very easily. Now, before I leave and stop this video, for this applet, for this one, one kind of problem, you can also just copy the data. And let me come back to Rossman Chance here. And I can just paste it in. I can paste in the data. It's one of these two columns of numbers. It just doesn't work well. See how it's getting this the same thing. We'll calculate it same, same, same T-score, same P-value. So you don't have to calculate the mean and the standard deviation by hand. Okay. All right, so that's that. If you do want to just use it, don't want to use Rossman Chance, and you want to, you're comfortable finding the T score by hand. So by hand, what we'll do is we'll do. Uh, we know that HO. I probably should write HO though. It, the, the Rossman Chance applet did that for us. The null hypothesis says no. There's no difference between these I, IQ scores. 
and h1 is that there is a different the mean difference is greater than zero so and then we run the do the test statistic we'll do t equals 2.5 minus zero right which is 2.5 divided by 3.47 divided by the square root of 10 and that's where if you were to run that on a calculator you'd get about 2.5 Okay, and then then if, how, how do you get the p-value? Because this is a right tail test, we could go out to the uh, you know another t-score calculator, and this is a t-score. I have I have nine degrees of freedom because there's ten brothers, and this test statistic is I know you can barely see underneath my writing, two point five, and then we get the p-value. Uh, error must be uh, what uh, error? There must be exactly one blank text box. Oh. Because I already had used this before. There we go. So that's that's the area to the left to get the to get the p value. We have to do one minus one minus point nine three uh, nine eight three one. And that's about that's about uh, what was it one point 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 oh two something or other. So it, it's in the ballpark. Okay. They're just, so again, because it's a right tail test, we get to subtract the table value or the calculator value. Okay, I'll stop this video and get it uploaded.